Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and enjoying the incredible, powerful energy of this day. Now, today is an interesting day. It comes out to 444 in numerology. A couple weeks ago, I actually did a numerology session with a very uh, well-known numerologist named Michael Bisbiglia, and he is a local reader at the East West Bookshop. This man is was incredible, actually. He really was able, one of the most incredible things about it is that he was able to identify my life purpose by identifying my numbers through numerology. And it's a purpose that is so deep within the soul. It goes beyond just the idea of what you're here to do or, you know, the illusions of, of grandeur that some may have of, um, you know, being some kind of special healer or creating an incredible business, it goes beyond that. This kind of numerology really looks into the metaphysical aspect of your vibrational expression as a whole vibrational signature. And I really resonated with that because in my work, when I see people and I see the color, I can see that color that really defines their vibrational signature as a whole. So I learned a couple things from him that confirmed some understandings that I had about numbers, frequency, vibration, color. In one of my regressions, I was tapping into the different uh, ways that vibrational frequency manifests itself through the different dimensions. And what I saw through those regressions was a language, a language that we as a human race are just going to come into learning and understanding. This language of vibrational frequency is something that we're speaking, but we're just learning how to speak it. Right now, we as a vibrational signature, as a person, as one individual being, we have many systems in the body that are producing frequencies that are communicating with our environment and the external world outside of us. One of the incredible aspects of the body is that every single one of the organs has a vibrational frequency. So the heart is actually the center motor of combining and integrating the non-physical with the physical. And so what happens in the merging point in the body where we are uh, coming in from the non-physical into the physical is that any type of confusion or disconnect with the two physical planes, which are a natural part of your expression, will cause an interference in how you are uh, expressing that vibrational frequency outwardly. And of course, because everything is energy and frequency, this is a language you are emitting a vibrational print and whatever that's manifesting out is exactly what's going to be a match to what you're bringing in. We know that. A lot of you know that. The law of attraction works in the way of resonance, right? And so as these beings of resonance, these beings of vibrational frequency, everything that we are feeling and doing is changing. But most importantly, how we are doing those things will provide the base vibrational signature, the intention behind what's being put outputted, in other words. So there's something that really has to happen in that dynamic. And what's really important about the dynamic is the awareness, the conscious awareness behind the intention of everything that you're doing. Now we look to a day like today, which comes out to 444, which is an incredibly powerful number and one that has really been coming up for me. And I know a lot of you have written me about having 444 coming up a lot for you. 444 is a number of practicality, of application, of, of action, in a sense, of applying. And so one of the things that was being opened up energetically in this world right now as a, as a whole, as a vibrational frequency, is to begin weighing out what we're going to be looking like on the other side of this incredible transition that we're going through as a collective. And it's important that we sit with ourselves and kind of identify what that is and how it's going to look.
because we are pulling away. Some of you are have been journeying a long time in your spiritual journey, but we're pulling away from an old paradigm. And that means that there we are cycling through deaths and rebirths, many deaths and rebirths. This is a time of transformation. So we need to take a look at all of the aspects of ourselves that are experiencing a death and all of the aspects of ourselves that are experiencing a birth. And how are we going to hold space for those new aspects that are birthing in that moment is by becoming very clear about what this new self needs in order to support it, for it to be able to manifest in a very powerful and grounded and um, really, really action uh, driven application of who you are. And what I mean by action is that all of the knowledge that we have all been spending so much time accumulating, reading books, connecting with our higher self, channeling and pulling that into the body, it's time to apply that knowledge into wisdom now and really embody that new self. So there's going to be a very interesting moment for a lot of people that that are not used to having that level of awareness and that connection with themselves, they're going to be forced and they already are during this time to really connect with themselves and observe themselves and see themselves in this new presence. And that presence can be really uncomfortable sometimes because we're not used to it. So it's going to take time for us to teach some of us that have not been connected with ourselves as much to really work and mold this new human body into the new human that we are creating. Now, what that entails is the application of all the wisdom. Okay, so some people that are not have been connected with themselves for a long time are going to be at the end of all of this when we try to go back to the regular jobs and everything, there's going to be a big disconnect, a big disconnect with what we felt that we prepared as a human. And then when we go out into the world, we're feeling resistance or a disconnect. So we have to prepare for that as these light beings that are just coming into a new expression of yourself. We are redefining in a sense, what is this new human? And so today, highlights a portal in a sense, an energetic vibrational frequency because every number this day is a vibrational frequency, one of which expands and highlights certain aspects of our reality. And it is the application and organization of all the aspects of ourselves that feel displaced and disconnected and not in alignment with ourselves. This is the one that we have to acknowledge today. And this energy, the vibrational frequency of our day is the perfect opportunity to work with that energy. Okay, so it is an incredible uh, uh, available frequency that aligns us gently, pushes us gently into those realms of, my, of thought. Now, the next step from here is to embody that. And so the, the question is, some of us that have been working for a long time, one of the questions that come up is, what's my purpose? What's my mission, right? And so the only way to find that mission is by embodying that expression, your highest expression. The highest expression of yourself is basically the person or the being or the aspect of yourself that is applying all of that wisdom that you know every moment of your day, the awareness, the intuition, the response, and the observation of your emotions and how you're interacting with one another. It's incredibly important to know that during this time of isolation, our ability to train our body to be in a state of observation is going to be very important. There's a lot that's stimulating us that, um, you know, what we're hearing on the news and all these things that are kind of stimulating constantly. And so it's important to pull away from that. And as your own vibrational frequency, we are owning and producing the new human as a vibrational frequency. You got to understand that every thought, every feeling, every emotion is an output that you're putting out. And so today is a wonderful reminder for us to bring us back into that alignment in which we are powerfully holding space as a pillar of light, as a creation 
uh, machine, in other words, as this incredible um, vibrational signature that you are emitting into the world around you, that you're very clear about those vibrational signatures that you are emitting. Okay, and the wonderful thing about this new level of awareness is that gently, as this pillar of light in your homes, in your communities, when we are gently coming back into the new life or this new back to work, we are then beginning to apply this new self. Okay, so there will be a disconnect for a moment or trying to kind of, uh, you know, re, re, um, become familiar with all of the patterns that we were used to having and there's going to be some new patterns that are being created. So now it's the time to identify what are those new patterns going to be? Who are you? How are you going to behave? How are you going to speak? How are you going to express yourself? How will you interact? Is consciousness and awareness going to be the foundation of your new expression? Okay, so it's really important to come back to that, to the basics, to that foundation. And today is an incredible day to focus on defining that, on this very powerful foundation of yourself, the spiritual self, because this is the merging. Inevitably, we are being merged. We are becoming aware of the non-physical. And we become aware of the non-physical, especially when we are put as a whole collective in events like this, where we are, um, you know, maybe coming into a state of high stress or fear or anxiety. Some of us want to feel like we're escaping and we're triggered in the aspects of ourselves that are fearful. And so the concept of escape really comes to mind. And so the invitation as a whole collective is, who are you in this physical body? What would you be ex escaping? What are, do you want to escape? Are you escaping fear? Obviously, we're escaping ourselves in all of these experiences. So how do we integrate? How do we bring back this human body? We're integrating the physical experience, which may not always be as pleasant. And we're bringing in that higher expression of yourself. So you can begin to be this, this new human that is working in and out of these several aspects of ourselves. And this realization that we are constantly need to be in the physical and in the higher aspect of ourselves is something that is going to be a new concept for a lot of the new people that are waking up right now. Okay, there's a lot, there's a waves of these awakenings that are happening around the world. And so we need to hold space in our bodies, becoming a really clear channel of frequency emission. Okay, and that's only going to happen by applying all of the wisdom that we know, using the tools, the practical tools that we know, grounding, protecting or becoming aware of your energetic space, aligning yourself and becoming very conscious of the energy that you're allowing into your space and what you're emitting. This level of consciousness is really the next step. People talk about fifth dimension, sixth dimension, coming into these new dimensions. What is that? That's a vibrational frequency. And so in order to be aligned with this new world that we think we're creating here as a collective that we're trying to bring into fruition here each one of you really has to embody that new expression so work is definitely time to do the work time to apply that work and time to embody the new self okay without any fear or any resistance so I'm going to walk you through a little meditation to kind of connect. And what I want you to focus on in this meditation is you're going to imagine yourself as this incredible pillar of light or your multidimensional body as you become aware of your multidimensional body. And you're going to tap in to the frequency that you hold within you. I want you to tap into your unique vibrational signature and I want you to notice as you sit with this vibrational frequency, weeding out the aspects of yourself that are in resistance to coming into this new expression, okay? And as you hold that, we're just going to be letting go gently any thought forms that no longer allow you to embody this new self. That's any doubt any fear, any disconnect, uh, the special um, 
the very important one here is the doubt in your intuition and your abilities as a healer because we are all healers okay and the incredible thing about that is that the fact that we can heal that we can bring wellness integration um, even removing illnesses from other people's body is the fact that we're an entire creation vibration Okay, that's what makes us these incredible healers. And every single one of you has the ability to apply the intention of sound, frequency, word, feeling, emotion to build this new world that we're living in collectively, that we are creating. So healing one another is all about intention, the purity of that intention. The purity of that intention is a is a purity of a vibrational frequency. And as you hone your healing abilities, you are really honing in your ability to manifest into the physical. So this is the time to begin to work with that. So let's get started. I want you all to inhale deeply and exhale. And we're going to ground down to the center of the earth. So you're going to visualize a pillar of white light that comes down from source, comes into the crown of your head, down your spine, down to the center of the earth. And you're going to visualize that pillar of white light. Some of you that have worked with me other times know that this pillar of white light is basically the manifestation of your core as and bringing it into the present moment, okay? This is your health. So you're gonna visualize that white light going through your body, solid, solid white light without any cracks or anything going through the body. And you're gonna anchor it down to the center of this planet Earth. Anchor it down. You are connecting with this physical plane, okay? And breathe. Inhale deeply and exhale. Very good. As you see that pole of white light, we're going to begin to activate the centers of the body of white light. Okay. So today's meditation is going to be a little bit different than usual because we're going to identify our vibrational frequency and work with who you are as this expression. So you're going to go to your root chakra and just visualize that you're going to fill that chakra with white light. Clearing out any programs, anything that's not in alignment with you. And it's not that you're judging what you're feeling there. You are observing. You're observing any kind of resistance that you have. This, this kind of work requires a lot of observation and a lot of connection with your body, with the feeling body, okay, and also your intuition. So as you're in the root chakra, you're going to gently tap in and by not applying any judgment or any expectation, you're just going to notice and observe what comes up, okay? You're going to go up to the sacral. Fill it in with that white light and just notice, notice what's happening there. Check in with that chakra, observing. Notice any subtle changes in the body, any feelings, any thoughts. Just observe, no judgment. You're going to go up to the solar plexus. You're going to do the same, just filling it with white light. We're clearing our channel of communication. Your entire body is a channel. Your entire body is a channel of communication. So you're going to go up to the heart. Go ahead and fill it in with the white light. Activating. Activating this body. Activating the body so that we begin to clear out anything that doesn't belong there. Becoming aware. Any subtle emotions, thoughts, blockages. Going up to the throat, bringing in, okay, filling it with white light. Breathe. 
breathing deeply, going up to your third eye, filling it with white light, activating, activating the body, becoming aware. And as we do, we're going to begin to, to become aware of who we are. You're going to take that attention out from the inside, outside, slowly becoming aware of your physical body. Okay, becoming aware of this physical body, becoming aware of your legs, your arms, the organs in the body, just becoming aware as you observe. Notice, again, this practice takes a lot of intuition and awareness, so just observing, okay? Very good. And as you become aware of your body as a whole, as a whole physical self, I want you to extend that attention out into the energetic body now. So just becoming aware of yourself as an energy. And I want you now, as you are sitting here with yourself, you're going to begin to tap in to yourself as this emission of vibrational frequency. So I want you to see, see if you can visualize the kind of frequency that you're emitting. Just notice, are the waves very strong, powerful? Are they moving fast? Are they slow? Just tap into your own energy. We are defining ourselves. We are noticing how we function. So this level of awareness is incredibly valuable for you. Inhaling deeply and exhaling. Okay, just noticing. And as we become aware of the vibrational frequency waves that we're emitting as an entire body, we're going to begin working with each one of our chakra centers, okay? We're going to start working with the root chakra. Tap in. What kind of vibrational frequency is the root emitting right now, today? Some of you have been doing a lot of other meditations. There's a lot of meditations going on today. So see if you can tap in to any shift in that space. Tapping into your vibrational frequency. Notice if you can, if you can identify the color or the wavelength. Do you feel it slow, heavy, or is it fast? Go ahead and tap into that, becoming aware of your body. We're going to go up to the sacral chakra. Go ahead and tap in. What kind of vibrational frequency is this sacral chakra emitting? Go ahead and tap into that. Read your body. Read your body. Become aware of your body. This is how we find ourselves. We are not the physical. We're not the external, we are this internal frequency. So this is what you are as you begin to speak and learn the language of vibrational frequency. You become observant of how it feels. Notice if the skin feels weird or if you begin to have goosebumps or, you know, just notice what happens in the body, okay? You're going to go up to the solar plexus, same thing. And as you observe this vibrational frequency, you might note and you might become aware of some emotions that are actually in the body. So go ahead and notice what are those emotions. Just notice them. And just for this moment, allow yourself to move past them by just refocusing on the body and relaxing or releasing any tension in the body that's holding on to those emotions, just let them go. Notice any resistance that you have to letting go of that emotion. You're going to go up into the heart now. Okay. I want you to notice how powerfully activated the heart chakra is today. Okay. Today is the number four. The number four is the color green. And the color green vibrational frequency is the color of this center of the heart, okay? So this is where, as we are defining ourselves, as we're coming into an awareness of who we are as this whole vibrational signature, 
we begin to tap in with the body, with the aspects of ourselves that don't allow us to embody our highest self now. So as you're working here in the heart, I want you to observe yourself and become aware. See if you can identify the things that don't allow you to embody your highest expression, your highest self. The highest self is that fearless truth. It is the aspect and the expression of ourselves that does not hide, does not need to be something else. The highest self is the expression of complete awareness of ourselves and everything around us without judgment. The highest self is the embodiment of unconditional love. So identify all of the programs and the aspects of yourself that don't want to embody this. What are they? You might surprise yourself. You might find it amusing. Take this moment. As you become aware of all these things that cause resistance, we feel maybe tension or pressure in the body. I want you to inhale deeply and exhale, moving that tension out of the body. And also becoming aware of what it is that you need in order to not resist coming into that highest self. without any judgment, without any fear of what you're feeling or what you're knowing or what comes up. Because that's, that's the biggest blockage is sometimes we fear seeing the truth of what's holding us back. So with a lot of love, with a lot of compassion, just become clear of what you need in order to embody that higher self now, today, this moment, the moment you turn this off and go do something else, you are going to be in a state of presence and awareness of yourself. The application 444. Inhale deeply and exhale. In this moment, you're also going to be communicating and identifying your gifts. A lot of you are always wondering, what is my mission? What is my purpose on this planet? As you begin to move through the blockages that don't allow you to embody the highest self, this becomes incredibly clear. Okay, So just notice as you move through in the heart chakra, what are those things that don't let you come into that highest expression? Very good. You're going to go up to your throat, filling it with white light. Again, the expression, the expression of yourself. Just activating the throat, clearing out anything that doesn't allow you to come in to your highest self. Becoming aware, noticing, observing. In the throat chakra, we balance the divine feminine and masculine. When we are out of balance with our feminine and masculine, we limit ourselves from tapping in to our other fragments of ourselves that are non-physical. It's only when we create an integration of this fragmentation that we can tap into our celestial self, our um, 
perhaps you can call it your extraterrestrial aspects, your star seeds, alignments. So as you create integration in the throat chakra, you're going to go up to your third eye and you're going to fill the third eye with that white light. And this would be the beginning of entering the portal into connecting with your star seed aspects of yourself okay because now you are looking at yourself beyond the physical you're looking at yourself as the fragmentation of all consciousness which can be interdimensional or aspects of yourself that are cosmic okay that are cosmic and really what that means is just more uh, let's say more advanced versions of yourself versions of yourself that are in the future because all of us have fragments of ourselves in the future and in the past and with this awareness we bring them into the present that's what you're doing so in your third eye you're gonna fill that up with that white light and moving gently moving through any kind of blockages that don't allow you to embody that those fragments of yourself, the starseed self, the future self, the gifts, the superpowers that we have, allowing the body to integrate these fragments. Very good. We're gonna go up into the crown now the crown connects us with all that is, all that is knowing, and we begin to activate. This is one of the most important parts. It's also the part that manages the RNA and the DNA, all the information that we're housing in the body holographically that is being fed through that infinite source channel that's um, going through the body, through that pole of white light. We are activating any kind of resistance that we have to embodying the higher self. So go ahead and gently observe, notice. Today, 444, gateway, gateway opening. But this is available to you at any time. Inhale deeply and exhale. I'll leave you with a moment here to connect to that. Notice how the body wants to expand up when you begin to activate this crown chakra. Notice how you want to, your awareness expands and just allow it to without any resistance. You may even be able to see yourself looking down at your body here in the room that you're in, becoming aware of yourself as the physical and becoming aware of yourself as the non-physical. And as you're observing yourself here, you are noticing who you are. Meet yourself, see yourself as the non-physical and as the physical, as a pool of white light. You're gonna visualize because the body has two poles of white light running through the body, one that goes through the center and one that goes through the core of your body. I want you to visualize that white light that goes through the center core of your body, through the abdomen. And this one goes all the way around the parameter of the earth, aligning you, aligning your, yourself with the planet earth, bringing you into the earth grid. You have your cosmic pole, your source self that comes in as you pull in from source and you help bring and this channel that goes through your body is responsible for connecting you with everyone here in this physical plane. It connects you through your DNA network and it connects you through an energetic, this subconscious connection that we are bouncing off each other energetically. Okay, beautiful my loves. I want you to inhale deeply and exhale, becoming aware, holding powerful space holding that pillar of light. I want you to expand your light out. 
and I want you to see what color your light is. What is your vibrational frequency? Okay? Observing, watching yourself as the physical and the non-physical. What color are you? Okay, notice. Beautiful. You guys are doing an incredible job. I want to welcome you back into the room now as you open your eyes. Very good. And as you open your eyes, you're going to be aware of your body, your energetic space, owning your space, becoming aware of what's within, becoming aware of your grounding, okay? Solidified as this pole expression of the non-physical and the physical at all times. Today is the gateway number 444, which means practical application. It is time to embody the higher self now. And so as we define what that is, when we go back into the world here, that's now being reset as a total new energy that we're bringing into the world, it's our responsibility as an individual to be holding that new expression. So what's your expression? Okay, really holding that space, owning your gifts. The time is now, my loves more than ever. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very grateful for you guys. I had such a wonderful time speaking with you here. And um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Sarah, your videos gave me more explanation than most. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm very glad that I can um, articulate in a way that you all can understand. And I'm very grateful. Love you. If you like this, please share with your friends if they need it, if they need to hear it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And we continue on the 31-day meditation challenge. Oh, my love. Bye-bye, guys.